Hi there. My name's Rick Resposito. You might remember me from such environmental training films as Clean It Like You Mean It and I'll Always Love My Mama, Earth. We live in a big city with a lot of people. And as we all know, a lot of people can make a lot of trash. That is where the litter index comes in. The Philadelphia Litter Index is a map-based survey of litter ratings of our public streets, public parks, and other public assets. Staff take digital surveys of the litter ratings on these sites using a one through four ranking, one being the best and four being the worst. So it's extremely important that our staff know what to look for when out in the field giving these ratings. Okay, everybody, it's time to hit the streets. Does this look like the kind of street that you would want to live on? If you said yes, then it's a one. Little bits of litter like a cigarette butt or one piece of trash here or there still considered as a one. But please do not count leaf or other sediment debris against the litter rating score. We understand that people have different energy levels when picking up litter. But if you feel that if everybody on this block did a simple sweep out front of their homes or picked up just a few pieces of litter, that this block would be clean and green, well, my friend, then you have a two. This is where things get a little gross. The level three rating is reserved for the amount of litter that cannot be handled by sweeping alone. We're talking about trash bags piled up against the fence line or so much debris that it would take multiple people with multiple bags to remove. Now we've come to the worst of the worst, the four. This is the type of dumping that you would need a trash compactor on site for city workers to load up. The trash is so much that it cannot be bagged and it's so heavy that you might need a machine to pick it up. It's sad that people think that they can get away with this in our city, but this is exactly why we're doing the litter index. This data is being used by city departments and community groups to track and locate the worst littered parts of Philadelphia. It's also the driving force behind our neighborhood litter control plans and will be used on a year-to-year -year basis to monitor improvements in litter conditions. Working together, we can get a neighborhood from a four to a three to a two down to a one. Because a litter-free city starts with you. Let's keep it clean, Philadelphia.